Finally, I've upgraded to the latest iPhone, not the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and not the iPhone 15 Pro, and not even the iPhone 15. But it is this iPhone, the iPhone 15 Plus. And in this video, we're going to walk through the unboxing, setup, and review of the iPhone 15 Plus that I have here with me. So if you are new to this channel, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to stay tuned for more tech updates. So what we are looking at now is the box of iPhone 15 Plus and the phone is still in the box. So on the box cover here, we see here the edges on the iPhone. You can see a tinge border of the blue color. So this is the blue iPhone 15 Plus. So now we're going to take out the phone from the box. So even though it's blue, it looks very off-white with a touch of very light blue, like a very bright and light color aqua blue. So that's iPhone blue for you. The other colors available for this iPhone 15 Plus model are black, green, yellow and pink. Then in terms of the material, it is a color infused glass bag. So on the back, we have the cameras, which I'll get to them later, and the Apple logo in a shaded shadow gray color. Then now onto the front of the phone, it still has a sticker on top. I'm going to take it out. Then on the left side here is the mute button and volume buttons. Then on the right side is the power button. Well, these are the standard buttons. Then underneath is the stereo speakers and the USB-C input. So there is no 3.5mm audio jack. So if you have the Bluetooth earphone or the AirPods, you can connect via wireless Bluetooth or use an audio jack to USB-C dongle to connect a wired earphone. Now on to the design, the iPhone 15 Plus has an aluminium design and Apple used a significant amount of recycled material and aluminium in building this iPhone. Then as for the weight and the measurements, this iPhone 15 Plus weighs 201 grams and in terms of the dimensions, it measures 160.90 in height by 77.80 in width and by 7.80 mm in thickness. And as we see here, the iPhone 15 Plus, the display, it has a diagonal size of 6.7 inches from edge to edge diagonally. Now that's pretty much it about the exterior of the phone. Now let's see what we have in the box and what comes with this iPhone 15 Plus. So here there's a mini folder and a USB-C cable. So the mini folder we have here designed by Apple in California. In the folder we have the pin to take in and out the SIM card from the iPhone and then some manuals and instructions and an Apple logo sticker. Well, the usual Apple sticker that comes with almost every iPhone. Then we have here the USB-C to USB-C cable. In terms of the measurement and the length, it is 1 meters long. And you notice that in this box and this iPhone, there is no adapter for the USB-C. You have to buy an iPad to get an adapter or buy separately the adapter from Apple or outside somewhere else. And you may have the cable, but you may not have the adapter. Not to worry, you can still charge the iPhone with wireless charging. Or you have the adapter, then just go ahead and connect the USB-C cable to the adapter. Now let's turn on and set up the iPhone. So after all that language introduction and greetings, swipe up to select your preferred language, then select your country or region. I'm from Malaysia, so I'm going to select Malaysia. Then on to customize the appearance. You can choose how you like the text and icons to look on your iPhone. You can change from default to medium and then to large. If you're not sure what to change now, you can just select default and then you can still change later in settings. And then we're going to continue to quick start. So if you have another iPhone or iPad nearby, you can sign in and set up through them. In this video, I'm going to set up without another device. And then next here is the written and spoken language. If you want to customize, you can go to customize settings at the bottom. Well, since there's nothing much to customize here, I'm going to continue where I'm going to connect the Wi-Fi to the iPhone and then with the Wi-Fi connected, Apple will automatically connect and activate your iPhone online. Then after the iPhone has been activated, it is on to the data and privacy section. Well, there's nothing much here to do. So I'm going to continue to set up iPhone. And in set up iPhone, if you bought the iPhone for your child, you can set up for a child in my family. You can enable and disable certain features as parents or guardians. Anyway, in this video, this iPhone is for myself, so I'm going to set up for myself. And then next is to set up Face ID. I'm not going to set up the Face ID now, I'm going to set it up later. And next is to create an iPhone passcode. So this is quite standard for all iPhones and smartphones. If in the event Face ID fails, like if you're wearing a mask or you're in a dark environment, you can still log in with your 6-digit passcode. Then next 
is to transfer your apps and data. If you're an existing Apple user, you can transfer from iCloud Backup or from another iPhone or from Mac or PC. But if you are an Android user or were an Android user before, then you can also transfer from Android. In this video, I'm going to don't transfer anything because I'll manually download and install the apps myself from the App Store later. Then here, you have to sign in with your Apple ID. So you'll get an Apple ID verification code on another of your Apple device like your nearby iPad or on your other iPhone or Mac. In your other Apple devices, look out for the code and then key in the 6 digit code here. Then after you have signed in, agree to the terms and conditions, then Apple will sign in again to your iCloud. And then after you have finally and actually signed in, you can customize further to make this your new iPhone. If not, then continue to whether you want to update your iPhone automatically or not. You can choose to only download automatically, but we're going to continue to set up mobile service. Here, you can transfer from nearby iPhone. That means eSIM or use a QR code. I'm not going to use an eSIM or use the QR code. Later, we'll transfer the SIM card from the old iPhone to this new iPhone 15 Plus. So I'm going to set up later in settings. And on to the next part. If you have a debit or credit card or travel card that are compatible with Apple Pay, you can set up here as well. I did a whole video series on adding some bank cards to Apple Wallet. You can check them out in my channel. If not, then just continue to improve Siri and dictation. This is to allow Apple to store and review audio interactions with Siri to improve Siri and etc. Well, I'm not really into Siri, so not now. And now, it's on the emergency SOS, where here we see a quick guide on how to press and hold for emergency SOS and crash detection features. And then there's nothing much to do here, so we're going to continue to the end of the setup, and the setup is done. So on to the specs. The iPhone 15 Plus runs on the latest A16 Bionic chip. It has a 6-core CPU with 2 performance and 4 efficiency cores, 5-core GPU and 16-core neural engine. That's for the hardware. In terms of the software, this iPhone 15 Plus runs on iOS 17, which is the latest version of Apple's op mobile operating system as of this video. So on the phone, very noticeably on the top is the dynamic island. Turning on the phone or raising it to wake, you notice that it has a very bright brightness. It has 1000 nits of max brightness, 1600 nits peak brightness in HDR and 2000 nits peak brightness when outdoors or whatever the nits it is, bright is and brightness gets. Then as for the display specs, this iPhone 15 Plus has a 60Hz refresh rate, Super Retina XDR display and again 6.7 inch diagonal all screen OLED display and 2796 by 1290 pixel resolution at 416 ppi. Then in terms of the storage, you can choose from either 128GB, 256GB or 512GB. But this iPhone 15 Plus model, it is 128GB. So now let's check out the cameras. So the iPhone 15 Plus has an advanced dual camera system, 48 megapixel and 12 megapixel cameras. And let's start with the main cameras on the back. Now there's portrait mode directly in photo mode. So when a person, dog or cat is in the frame, you can quickly turn the photo into a portrait mode with a beautifully blurred background by tapping the lightning icon in the bottom left corner or you can edit later in photos. And then in addition to portrait mode, now you can also add photographic styles preset directly and automatically when shooting with your camera. Whereas previously you had to manually select and add the photographic styles in the photos. So you can capture stunning details and vibrant colors with the 48 megapixel main camera featuring a 26mm lens, 1.6 aperture and sensor shift optical image stabilization. You can further expand your photo perspective with the 12 megapixel ultra wide camera offering a 13mm lens, 2.4 aperture and an impressive 120 degrees field of view. Then you can zoom in with precision using the 12 megapixel 2 time telephoto camera. Then you can capture moments in stunning detail with 4K video recording at your preferred frame rate. Or you can also opt for the clarity of 1080p HD videos. Or you can go lower and choose the 720p HD video recording. In addition to the usual video mode, you can take your video recording further with the cinematic mode and action mode. With the cinematic mode, dive into a world of cinematic storytelling and it supports up to 4K HDR at 30 frames per second. Then now on to the front, the selfie or front camera or as Apple calls it, True depth camera. It is a 12 megapixel camera with a 23mm lens, 
and 1.9 aperture and like the main camera you can also record videos in 4k and in 1080p hd video and in cinematic mode and in hdr video recording with dolby vision and also in slow motion and time lapse video mode so overall the iphone 15 is an excellent smartphone that's packed with advanced features and performance it's a great option for anyone looking for the best possible iphone experience so thanks for watching my review of this iphone 15 plus i hope you found it helpful if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and if you are new to this channel hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to stay updated for more tech and lifestyle updates